<laughs> so I have uh, Alex one S eight nine. Okay. Yeah. He would like to join us. Yes. Get in here, sir. All right, lads. Get in. All right, lads. All right. All right. Hey, up, lads. All right. How's it going, sir? Pretty damn good. Pretty welcome. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, let's do this. Oh dear. Who are you? And what do you do? <sighs> All right. What do you say? My name is Alex, otherwise known as Alex is one eight nine. And um, I am a junior marketing artist at uh, Foundry 42, as of two weeks ago. Two weeks uh, ago? Two weeks ago. And um, Are you feeling the pressure already? Yeah. yeah. A lot of pressure. As a community, we're, we're pretty fucked up. I know. I come from the community. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, anyone watching will know me for uh, a little thing called Bulkheads or uh, Lettuce from Vega. You so, may uh, have heard of those things. A few, yeah. a few people might have, but I'm just going to put it out there now. Unfortunately, because I'm here, there's not really going to be a Vega part two because so I don't have the time. Me, you know. So, uh, also, cat's out of the bag now. I was going to keep it all on down low. So. How long did you have to keep your secret for? Keep, keep, not, I didn't. Oh, okay. I just chose not to because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, so it's better just to kind of keep things, uh, keep things on the down low for a bit. But pretty good. Mm. It's pretty good. So what kind of stuff are you going to do beforehand? I mean, what got you high? <laughs> why, 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 why are we back right. in, why, why are you pledging for you now? Basically? Why? Mm. Because I make cool shit that you guys watch. Okay. Um, don't know if I can swear, but oh well, I just did. <laughs> um, yeah, so what got me in was actually not Vega. It was uh, the P72 commercial I made last January. Okay. It's a marketing position. I'm ah, really interested in that. Right. And my knowledge of the cry engine or the lumberyard, as you may like to call it. Right. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what got me in. And I'm just Do what? doing what I did before, except getting paid for it, which is. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing what you uh, want to do and you get paid for it, exactly. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I'm just reading the chat here. Uh, I am not Gary. Uh, Gary is someone else. I don't know a Gary. Uh, it's uh, a joke from someone else. That was oh. <laughs> so, so what exactly is a marketing uh, uh, artist? artist? Because um, All right, so chat, chat immediately goes, he draws stuff or what? Oh no, no, no. So um, technically, the actual role was um, junior cinematic artist hyphen marketing. But that was renamed because I got confused with, it, it, it gets confused with the cinematics team, which I'm not a part of. Right. The closest thing I can think of is like, I'm, uh, I'm a junior cinematics artist, but I'm kind of like a part of the market team. So I'm kind of like, you know, like they talk about in those tours and things, there's like QA embedded in Squadron. Mm. Like similar sort of thing. I'm a cinematics guy that is not to do with Squadron. I'm embedded in the marketing team. Okay. So if you imagine like B-roll and... Uh, and ship commercial. I know that positions change a lot in CIG, so would there ever be a, a potential like chance that they will get you in to uh, to work on those things? Or is it well, like squadron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know. It depends how needs change, and if if they ask me, sure. But the kind of process is actually quite different because you know with B-roll and commercials and things like that, you don't have to worry about the player aspect of it. So if they do, there'd be a lot of. Um, It'd be a little bit of a delay because I'd have to actually learn a lot of systems that I don't otherwise need to know. So, you've been working for two weeks now, right? Two weeks. So, two, two long, whole weeks. Arduous Ten weeks. whole days. <laughs> so, have you done anything that. Have you done anything? No, that, that we can. <laughs> that already. Have you done anything that we've seen? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, wow, ATV, they went straight some, of it, some of it looks like <laughs> shit, but. Um, oh! <laughs> So, some of the stuff I've done. Yeah. Like, Whoa, you've been here two weeks! Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so last week we had the um, ATV with the ship shit stuff. We had some of the 600i stuff yes. and the Avenger stuff. Uh, 600i was done by someone else because that was all done before I actually started. Uh, I did a little bit of the Avenger stuff, like this pretty badly late shot of it coming into land on Port Olisar. I did that probably about an hour after I started. I was just playing around wow. the engine. They were like, we want that in ATV. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, we and, I did, that. and I did some other like interior shots of the new and the old Avenger and things like that. So it's pretty simple stuff. And I've been doing some other things that you guys haven't quite seen yet, uh, which you'll probably see within the next couple of months. Is that maybe for the release of the Avenger, is it? Um, no, the, the other stuff I've been doing hasn't really been to do with the Avengers, it's been oh, okay. something else. So. What is the, what's the something else? I can't really tell you, I'm afraid. Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah, we can um, try. Well, the thing is, I'm just playing it safe because I don't know if it's been announced or not, so it's yeah, fine. No, no, no. Just it Let's not get you in trouble, but if you no. want to whisper it to Maya, he can, if you want to whisper what it is to Maya, he can whisper it to me, and then we can just keep it between us all and not announce it on no, screen. No, it's, it's, probably, it's probably best. So you guys will see it in the near future, so don't, don't no need to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that Avenger looks good. That Avenger is... Yeah. It's yeah. bigger. So you've walked around inside. You've had uh, the whole experience of walking uh, well, Yeah, I've walked around inside. It's really cool, because when you're using the editor and things, um, you literally just press, like, Control g and I'll put you in game mode, so no matter where you are, you'll drop out the camera and you're in the game. That's the new tech... That's uh, not the new, but that was... That's the kind of tech that allows the development of the game to be so uh, fluent and... Quick. But, but potentially, yeah. Um, I'm not really a game designer, so I can't really comment on that. I no, yeah. it's just my stuff. Yeah. But it, it does allow you to say you're, I don't know, you're, you're making a level doing the architectural stuff. You'll be able to drop out and just kind of get an idea of what the scale's like as a player. It's not really anything unique to Foundry or CRG. It's kind of like a built-in thing that's in most game engines. Right, you okay. can just drop into game mode whenever you like. But it does allow you to test some systems, or in my case, I'll drop in and then see how a cinematic would actually look in game yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, like if people have seen any of the the, the work you've done, mm -hmm. they will know your talent is there. So it's when it comes to like cinematics, and obviously, like development itself is you're developing the ships, whatever. But cinematics is what sells it. Yeah, like all the ship adverts. Every time we said like watching those, it'll make I want that ship. Yeah, <laughs> that's what makes us think I'm gonna that's buy that ship. ship. Yeah, so like I'll be honest, some of the work that went into some of the ship commercials, because that's like one of the first things I did was actually go into the source files and seeing how they were put together. And from a technical standpoint, how some of those commercials were made just blew my mind. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, so that's like every lunchtime, and they're just like, all right, how the hell did they do this? Oh, that's how they did it. All right. Um, but it is really cool, kind of the, uh, the storytelling aspect of it as well. You know, every um, yeah. every brand has its own theme and its own way to go, which is really, really cool. So when you do your cinematics, do you have a story in mind? That um, we, we don't necessarily know the story, but you, yeah. you know it. Um, so... The best example I can think of that's recent is a P72 video I did. Yeah. So in that, I had an idea. Um, it was just like, right, I know I'm going to have some sort of engine explode, ex exploded view, because I did something similar to that with a Merlin. Right. Where, so it was like going to be originally a, a scaled-up version of that, and I knew I was going to have some Alan Watt stuff in there, because I don't know if you've watched the video, but the speech he gave is, is, is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a little bit of music to go along with it. And then it kind of expanded from there, and then I kind of... I got in touch with uh, a guy called Slayer TNT, who I worked on Vega with. He actually wrote letters from Vega, and we just kind of plotted out some ideas, and I just went and, went and developed it. Um, so it kind of turned into this story of. In the speech, Alan gives. I'm just gonna put it down there. I have hands are involved. So All right, <laughs> yeah. In the speech, Alan gives. He's kind of talking about. Um, trying to work towards what you want to achieve in your life, all right? Trying to work towards what you want to do. Yeah. And that's kind of what I was doing with the character in that. This is, a, this is a, it could be somewhere in his garage, it could be working for a company, but he's modifying this Merlin to turn it into a P72 or a prototype of it, doing what he loves to do. So that's kind of, and then at the end, you kind of see his creation with the you know, door opening and the, and the lights turning on and things like that. So yeah. that's kind of what went for with that. So it's just kind of a little sub story in there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of how I approach it. I just kind of block out a story and then break it down a little bit more and just take a look and see how I'm going to approach it that way. And just like, I try to always do it. Like, if it was... If there was no audio at all... Is that the final? I think so. I think someone's won the dog fighting jam. You want to change the cameras to, see how many, to show how many people are watching right now? How do we do that? Um... Click. Hold that thought. No uh, do, do you want to change the scene oh, to show the crowd? <laughs> like, and then move the camera around? We'll come back. It's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, we're still here. I'm not going anywhere. In fact, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> all right. I forgot what I was talking about, but tell you what, shall I answer some questions that are in chat? Yeah. I've seen yeah, quite yeah, a few of them. So there, there was a question about um, your trailer stuff. So now that you work for CIG, does that mean that you are no longer able to make the content that you were making before? Um, so Vega is not going to have a part two, if anything else, because of the huge time commitment that took to make. Yeah. That took me 11 months to do. 
Uh, so I won't really have the time to do that. Wow. Um, with the tutorial and the bulkhead stuff, um, maybe I kind of need, like, I'm only recently here, so I need to work out, you know, what I've got time to do and what I don't have time to do and uh, some other things because there's always a potential of some sort of conflict of interest in there so I need to make sure that it's you know everything's yeah it's a job okay. you need to make sure I need to make sure it's all above board yeah. all right so what are you working on right now then uh, can you tell us what you're working Out, on? outside of work I'm not really working on anything um, because I don't have internet yet, <laughs> so I can't really do anything. Um, but uh, another guy I work with on the bulkhead stuff, Fiendish Feather, um, yes. he's been working on a little uh, little reclaimer short we've been doing. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a little, it's very, very dark, the actual story of it. Uh, so oh, that's cool. I started that about a month ago and kind of put it on hold when I moved, yeah. and he's kind of finishing it all up. So. Uh, we're looking at probably releasing that in the near future. But, but Fiendish Feather has been there from, for a he's long while now. He's been there from now. the get-go. He, he's one of the veteran uh, YouTubers who has created... He's one of the original um, cinematics guys in the yeah. Star Citizen community. Yeah, and he, he had his own slot on the uh, Citizens of the Stars. And, yeah. But uh, so, so you helped him out with a lot of what he's doing. It, it was it was both. He helped me and I, I helped him. So what we did, was, which was kind of a first, is... Um, like, so, uh, one of the systems that can be used for source control with CryEngine is a system called Perforce. And basically what that means is, like, our CryEngine build is kind of kept on his private server. Right. And then you can have, with a free license, you can have up to five people with access to it. So we've actually got a team of, uh, at the moment, myself, Fiendish, uh, a guy called Hefe, who is the, for anyone in the modern community, they'll know him as the guy who made the CGF converter, which, if anyone's got cosplay, or 3D printed stuff or anything like that, anything to do with modding, they used his tool. Oh, that okay. is how you convert the stuff. Um, and then Taylor as well, who you know does some yeah. of the ship review videos, he's on that build as well. And what it allows us to do is basically, almost in real time, especially with time zones, is we can actually share all our levels so more than one person can work on it, okay. which is super cool. Yeah, it keeps everything, everyone in the same loop. Yeah. As it's happening, yeah, yeah like live, yeah, that's, that's and, um, really important. And so with Vega, Fiendish helped me out with getting all that set up, uh, so nothing was lost. And he also did some of the particle stuff. And in this, um, in this little reclaimer short we're doing, I did all the cinematic type stuff. So I set up, the, I set up the kind of block out of the level. Right, I want to destroy Starfire here. I want the spa space station here, and then he'll go in and make it look really, really good. Right, and it does look phenomenal and um, so we kind of do it that way so we each have our own area we specialize in yeah and then we can kind of collaborate that way so he helps me and I help him and we, if it's bulkheads we put it out on the bulkheads channel you see like for those who have not been around from the very beginning fiendish feathers uh, who else did you name um, so Finnish Feather, Teller. Teller. Um, up until last year, we got Terrellian as well, who was also at CIG. Been doing it for a long while. Yeah. Um, but I think he did it for about a year before starting CIG, similar to what I did. Um, and that's when it comes to crying, and that's more or less it. There's more people getting into it because recently uh, the Bulkheads Discord server has been opened up so anyone can join it if they want to. Uh, there's a tutorial series I was putting out, kind of talking about how to use all the tools to actually get it working on your PC at home. Yeah. So if you want to get into this stuff, you just need to download a um, like one tool, well two tools, one to extract the game, another right. to convert it, and then throw it in the CryEngine or Lumberyard now, and you can, you can do that stuff. And we have a Discord server that will support you. But it's like, when I first, like, I mean, we're veteran backers, correct? Yes. So yes, I am trying. I've uh, been around well, for a while. Well, I've been around the park a couple of times now. I'm just a youngster compared to you. <laughs> but we've grown up on that. We've grown up on Teller. We've, we've, yeah. we've been around yeah, where... Anything when, FPS and all these people, yeah. I'm sure there's new people in chat that have never heard of Star Citizen or they've, they've just recently heard of it. If you want content on YouTube that is interesting, that is uh, cinematic, and this is the difference. It's it's the people that are backers that are getting employed. So some of them, yeah. It's not just people with the talent. It's people that have proved the talent mm. through what they're doing and what they're working on, like yourself, Teller, Fiendish Feathers. 
They've all been a part of the community for years now, and they've been creating this stuff. And they're getting the job, like yourself. Um, not Fiendish Feathers. Te- Teller and, and Fiendish aren't. Myself and Torelli and uh, Disco Lando comes from the community. Well, yeah, Disco um, Lando was a, was a, a YouTuber, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, and a, you know, a few a few other guys as well. That unfortunately, I can't remember the names off the top of my head because it was a while ago. So um, rude. But co- I know, I'm just just terrible, I mean, I'm terrible person. The, com- like the company's huge, so I'm bumping into people. It's like, I recognise you, but I don't know your name. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Um, but now they're... But it's all come there, like from the community. Yeah, 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 quite, quite a few did. But what the, they talked about it in the dev panel here. You know, they're more interested in. They don't really. They're not bothered about what degree you've got or anything like that. No, of course not. Uh, especially in the art side, a lot of it is results driven. And yeah. if you can make great work and you're a good person, you're good to work with. Nice guy or gal. Yeah, you don't swing cats around friend. by the tails. Exactly. That sort of thing. You, you don't tell right. them that anyway. Yeah, you kind of keep that on the down low. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they every now and again, them. when no one's watching, you swing cats around. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's Is that a second phone. <laughs> swinging cats around on tails. I, I wouldn't know. Like I'm confirmed. A, I'm a market back in the guy, office. So. They all get out there, let out their rage every time someone. Comes. <laughs> every time there's a little yellow. bit of salt from like Madness's stream or something, they get out like, oh. <laughs> and you know, on yellow, the cat just fucking goes off. <laughs> For, just like uh, the dragonfly. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> but no, that, it's, it's so important to show that the uh, the people that are making the content, like cinematics, for example, uh, is there to show off the game in the best light it can be. Yeah. And why would they employ someone who's never heard of the game compared to employing someone who has a passion for the game? They know what they're talking about. They know how it works. You can help. You can help sell the game to people, and that's ultimately what it is that you're doing. Cinematics pretty much sell the game. Um, yeah, with these cinematics, it is. Yeah, and it's hell of a lot. So of fun. you've been working on the Karak right now, on the cinematics for the Karak. So when's it out? I haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> so of... He's only been around. I, for I've only been around. Sorry, for a I don't mean. Of weeks. I don't mean the Karak. I mean the. I mean the Banu Merchantman. Sorry. sorry, I haven't done that. Oh. That's before my time. Like when they showed off some of the, uh, for example, the Gion stuff. I think it was recently in ATV. Yeah, that's cool. That 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 was before I started. So that's but you're going to get your hands involved so what, in this what area. NDA stuff have you been working on I can't tell you because it's NDA isn't it <laughs> um, we'll get one of them <laughs> no it's, yeah. I'm sorry but I, can't, like, I really probably can't tell you uh, I, I guess <laughs> we tried yeah. I know you, you tried um, oh, well, we yeah, I saw someone ask about the um so I've been kind of keeping my own chat. Yeah, you've been ignoring me. Be, being chat. a better host I, than we are. I've yeah. been, I've yeah. been like kind of going back and forth. Uh, someone <laughs> asked about if I'm going to be continuing the tutorial series. That's still to be determined. Uh, it's a time thing. Uh, yeah, it's kind of thrown out there. And Aphigen does not do CryEngine stuff, as someone put there. He does something different. He uses a program called Lightwave, which is what they use on the show Battlestar Galactica. Ah, okay. And um, he, he does his stuff in a 3D package. And it's similar to, you know, if you were to load it up in Maya or 3DS Max Maya. or Blender. Maya. Load me up, Maya. M-A-Y-A, not Wait, what? M-Y-R-E. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Maya. Load you up. Yeah, uh, fucking, uh, what? Um, so it's yes. a completely different it's, system. It's a completely different system. Um, it's not real time for a start, but so it still looks really cool. Like, nah. it, Fuck you, Atherton. Well, to be honest, I, I used to do similar stuff. It's all right, but it's not as good as my stuff. It's fine. I, I used to do similar stuff, to, a similar way to what he did. I made a Merlin commercial in After Effects, and he, that's one of the tools he uses. Um, so it, it's similar, but different. so uh, you mean yellow, yellow, yellow? You are yellow, 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 machine yellow. Yeah, I guess not many people know the difference between like what well, machinima is a classic machinima where you machinimate right. like where you, you, you kind of like someone just moving a mouse up and down going yeah. <laughs> you I am speaking. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you uh, you worked on Yellow Yell? No, no, no. But it was an example being used as what what, no. what <laughs> where you told me you did. He no, whispered it in your ear on purpose and just anything, to make you look stupid. That, yeah. was, that uh, yellow yell you did you was fantastic. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do that. I'm so, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like it. Oh well. So what have you worked on then? What have you? Uh, what were you, re- where you recognised? Oh, will you tell us, man? okay. Right, I can actually name all these. I see a red laser though. Oh, no, right, they're just uh, taking a because we said about NDA and they said you got like a red laser and oh, in case probably, you yeah, break yeah, NDA yeah. It's like, I know don't break that <laughs> NDA <laughs> guys, I, I don't really know that much about what's actually going on it hasn't I'm, been let down I haven't got around to reading it yet <laughs> you're not in that section of the uh, CIG offices no <laughs> when you, I, don't have the, I don't have the clearance when they unlock, unlock the door and they go welcome <laughs> two this star is, well, there's just a big door that says NDA on it and it's like 
<laughs> what they, well. I think what they do is they actually supplement you with a, a fake NDA thing first of all to see if you last a few like yeah. a month without you test breaching it. Yeah. And yeah. if you get past that, then you get let into the real. He doesn't room. have the hoodie yet. Yeah. You know, he hasn't know. joined the inner circle. Of, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a T-shirt. Apparently, I meant to get a mouse mat as well, but I haven't got that yet. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I probably need. No, to it's because um, a few people have been off on holiday and things and. The yeah, they're making out, excuses. So. Yeah, yeah. From, yeah, yeah. you're fired next week. It's just an excuse. Well, <laughs> they say, I'm sorry, I'm on a, I'm, I can't do it. I'm on holiday, mate. It's not going to happen. Like, okay. you're like, oh, but you're standing in front fine. of me. No, to be fair, part of it is because I haven't asked. So I haven't got around to it. Just fucking demand it. I'm not going to demand it. Yes, yeah, you actually demand. demand. You just demand. I've got, yeah. I've, got a, I've, got a lot I need, I've got a lot I need to do at the moment. So <laughs> I've got a lot of things to keep an eye on. Um, I, think, I think you need to draw the next winner. Yes, we do. Draw a winner. The Vulcan winner. Yeah, what do we'll I get do? The so guests to draw winners. Right. As yeah. a guest, you get to draw the winner of this the ship. Vulcan. We're giving away what? a. Hang on, I haven't um, entered yet. A <laughs> Vulcan. LTI. Yes, we're giving away a Vulcan LTI. You have a about ten seconds to like exclamation mark. All you have to do is just press the button. But on that's what the, they do on the lottery. You can't fuck this up. <laughs> Don't hit the reset button. That's you all you have to do. And the winner is of the Vulcan. Oh my god! Mm. I don't know. Is that picking someone? Vandal, Vandal G. Vandal G. So rich. He's in Sorry. chat as well. Congratulations, yeah. Vandal G. You've won a, uh, a Vulcan LTI, so make sure you rigged. Uh, worked all day and it rigged. At Britain's and Cunts. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Show us your penis. I think, uh, I think some of the mods have been doing a good idea and keeping track of the winners for us. So uh, thank you very much, mods. Yeah, and you, well mod. done. Um, Vol I was going to say Vulcan G then. <laughs> thank Vulcan you, G. Vulcan G. <laughs> A new person to just one. Awesome. I think some people just have very lucky names because Vandal G. I've seen him win yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Vandal, I think you're, you're, you're born and lucky, my friend. I think you guys have fixed it. Yeah, <laughs> you fixed it. You, you fucking you pressed it. the button. Yeah, yeah. rigged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally rigged. <laughs> All right, so thank so you so much. Let's oh. start a new one. Oh, sorry. oh okay. Right. Oh. Sorry, a new okay. one. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Fuck off and enjoy the event. There's nobody here. They've all gone to a panel. Ah. Oh, what's the noise? What's the next panel? Do we know what to turn the thing on? We'll see. We're going for the raffle. Oh, is it the raffle? Yeah, the raffle. turn the thing on. The the, the, the source. So oh, we can... The, the NDI source. Uh, click the shit. Yeah, we might Whoa. be able to see the uh, the box oh, they're giving the away. Right. So they're actually raffling off a um, one of uh, JR uh, Productions is um, well Fabrications is uh, sure like box. boxes but it's so, it's, mm. a PC case it's a PC case so it's the box that you guys saw from CitizenCon not the exact same one but it's been modified to be a PC case yeah Chris hasn't touched it mm. it's got CitizenCon logo in and stuff in, it. in exactly. fact actually there's a picture of it well it's only not, not really a picture of it below right. the stream I've, it's always like concept yeah. work for it yeah. at least. So J um, yeah. it's down below. We should down get below. we should yeah. get him on down afterwards below. and uh, like uh, to, talk yeah. to him about We're it. We're still trying to get mm. JR on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a top quality guy. Get him on. Yeah. yeah. So he made the Saber Raven um, one eighth uh, scale uh, thing. He made the 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 GSS Artec uh, cupboard thing as well. This time around the BrizzingCon, he's made and I don't think Chat has seen it. Have they? Have you shown it to them? Did they What's that? He made that. He made the. Um, he the, made everything. No, he yeah. made the Grim Hex kiosks that have we Wing it Commander off. inside it. Yeah, Rithius is gonna grab it. Let's let's transition. The, you gotta unscrew it. Did not also make what's on screen now, which is that amazing. He did. Uh, he did yeah. make yeah. that amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on, 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 hang on,
Thank you very much. Thank man. you, cameraman Amritheus. So you can't see it properly from uh, from your seats at home, but uh, it actually looks really cool from here. You know. Right, if they show the box, you should have come. I'll, I'll make it bigger, home. but otherwise yeah. we'll just put no it No shit's there. given at all. So yeah, sadly there's no audio, guys. That's what we've been bantering the entire time instead of That's like showing up the panels crap yeah. and having day. devs on. So thank you so yeah, much for helping us. I should us. probably go. Yeah. But all right. It is a pleasure, yes, sir. You too. Will and you be at the bar, citizen, later? Fuck yeah, we will. Let's go get shit fed. Exactly. Exactly. That's what that 200 million is paying for. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. Uh, Cheers, guys. The words. Thank you, Super Mac Brothers. It's not indoors. You so. you. Enjoy. Next time, uh, you can give some more away, can't you? Yeah, break some NDA next time. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Thank you, sir. All right. So that was Alex. Awesome. So what's happening now? What's, what's, what's happening right I here? I think uh, it's now the presentation. At the moment, we're...